Hi and welcome to Angling View. Today you join me from my back garden of all places and it's just a little quick tackle review. Uh, last year you saw me get the Ventilite um, side tray with a hood. Um, absolute brilliant piece of kit. A lot of people enjoyed the review. A lot of people using that product. Um, so basically this is its baby brother and it's uh, they're basically a miniature version but without a hood. Um, really good to have behind you or at the other side of you. Uh, and again, the fantastic quality. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of an unboxing and uh, a little bit of putting it onto uh, the box and we'll see how it comes. As you can see, I've not had it out yet. I've actually come back from work. So I'll throw that down there. So as you can see, it comes uh, fully in plastic and you can see there in the bottom where my fingers are, there are the inserts for if you want to um, put it on different applications. Uh, but obviously I've got the 36 uh, mil leg on mine. So what we need to do is just take the insert out that's in there, just kick that out of the way. Um, and we'll just take that insert out. So as you can see, the inserts are in there. It's just a manner of just slackening it off um, and finding there's a gap in them, just pushing it together and sliding them out. So, let's get this one out. There we go, that's one. And then just repeat the same on that side. Like I say, if you've got square legs or round legs, pressings, um, like most companies nowadays, they, they all do sort of a, um, an insert that will fit that so I'll just bend that one together again and slide that one out so just like uh, the other one they've got really strong grips on there but the thing that's different about these ones is you can take off your two um, hand, what's it, handles snap-ons and you can access that whenever you want so these can be left on your box at all times, which is, is the really good thing. So I'm just going to uh, dip down here and sort of demonstrate that. So most, most times what I would be doing is I would put them on, on the back of my box. And that's where so certainly this one's going to live um, moving forward. So obviously I've taken those 36 mil spaces out and I can have those uh, two and... Uh, the, the good thing is my um, drawers still clear it, um, which is, is really good. And then it's just a matter of measuring up the top parts to it. So as you can see, it's a way away from what I need. So to, to, to get them to the angle we want, we just undo those clips and just slide it. And that's in line with this one now. And it's just a case of unclipping this one, sliding that one in line with that one. I can put the two clips down and then that one will fit on top of there and we've got clip and we've got clip and then it's just a matter of making sure you've got the right height and there you go it's uh, dead simple what I'll do is I'll uh, change the camera angle get it close you can have a quick uh, look at it and uh, we'll see uh, how strong it is right guys so as you can see that's uh, clipped on nicely and uh, really stable and creates a great platform behind the box and obviously you're gonna have your side tray on that as well so it's just a matter of configuring whereabouts you want your connections obviously um, on your side legs because that's usually gonna be lower lower down um, on there so then you can fit your other side tray on there as you can see a great bit of kit provides quite a lot of space behind you there um, obviously like I say again it's gonna be lower down and obviously the Peg's a little bit wonky there that we've got it stood, the box stood on there so if it does look at an angle it's just the, just the flags underneath it. But a uh, great bit of kit. What I'll do is I'll set the camera up and I'll show you the clips in close. Right guys, just before I show you how to attach and detach in closer detail the rear tray, I'll just start to bring it closer and show you just my side tray that you've seen before um, and how they look together on there. So as you can see that's got the hood down. I'll just step round to the other side of the camera and show you with the hood up. So 
so that view there obviously is a hood up we'll move it round to the other side and you just get a, a better idea of how that looks so obviously this is from the back of the box so you can see we've got that access uh, to the back we've been able to just drop pellets behind you if you if you're feeling shallow um, especially when maybe feeling cag handed and obviously then the side tray looks absolutely bob on all fits on nice all interlocking and the back one like I said can just lift off and you can leave those mounts on there so it's just a case of bringing the side tray that will easily fit into my um, carry all as well into my uh, um, accessory bag and uh, perfect so I'll just move now on to showing you how to undo and fasten the new vent light tray so just gonna go through the clips again so as you can see these two clips there are to, are to slide it side to side obviously we don't need to do that and it won't slide because of the legs so the clips underneath here one and two so we'll just fasten those two top two there to enable you to to pull it out because it's brand new so it's a little bit stiffer and you're seeing it's in the quick release system that we that you would normally have on a preston box so as i was saying before you're probably gonna have it lower down because you're gonna be shipping poles back plus i'm gonna have another um one on at that side um and just flip this one over if you wanted to uh, as it's got the screw on the other side it doesn't matter um yeah it does it just means that it's on the other side um but that's fine that just means i've got the the wrong side by side but that's absolutely fine it's not a problem so as you can see it's just a case of dropping them onto those squares and pushing 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 down on it once it's a bit tightening um and just clipping those on and uh, you're away just tighten that one more notch and as you can see again it's it's as strong as the sat the other side tray that we had before uh, that we've got before sorry and that will go on uh, at the side of that and it just gives you that little bit of extra um extra space really to, to to place anything else and uh, give you a bit more space with a nice logo and the nice drainable ability so if you've got maggots or anything with water it's just going to go straight through which is always a good point Thanks for watching guys as always, join us on the Facebook group at Anglin uh, For You, join us on the Instagram at Anglin underscore For You, um, go on to uh, the YouTube channel and look on the uh, playlist for unboxings and reviews and there's plenty more on there and uh, thanks a lot for watching, tight lines.